The Midwest Conference Wrestling Championship is an annual wrestling tournament featuring teams from private liberal arts colleges located in Illinois, Iowa, and Wisconsin. The tournament has been held annually since 1936 and is one of the most prestigious wrestling events in the region. Throughout the history of the tournament, many schools have participated and achieved varying degrees of success. One school that has dominated the tournament in recent years is the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse, which has won 15 championships between 1996 and 2019. Other recent champions include Augsburg University, which has won nine championships since 1991, and Wartburg College, which has won five championships since 2013. In the 1970s, the Midwest Conference Wrestling Championship featured a number of strong programs, including Coe College, the University of Dubuque, and Augustana College. Coe College, located in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, has been one of the most successful programs in the tournament's history, winning 25 team championships, more than any other school in the conference. Coe has also had success at the national level, winning 16 NCAA Division III national championships since 1979. The University of Dubuque, located in Dubuque, Iowa, has also been a strong program in the Midwest Conference Wrestling Championship, winning nine team championships since 1973. Augustana College, located in Rock Island, Illinois, has also had success in the tournament, winning six team championships between 1978 and 1988. Other schools that have participated in the Midwest Conference Wrestling Championship over the years include Beloit College, Cornell College, Knox College, Lake Forest College, Lawrence University, Monmouth College, Ripon College, and St. Norbert College. The tournament has been a showcase for some of the top wrestling talent in the Midwest and has a long and storied history. Men's college wrestling enjoyed a surge in popularity in the 1970s, with the sport drawing large crowds and producing some of the era's most iconic athletes. Wrestling has long been a part of American collegiate athletics, and the 1970s saw the sport reach new heights of popularity and success. One of the factors driving the popularity of men's college wrestling in the 1970s was the success of the United States wrestling team at the 1972 Olympic Games in Munich, Germany. The U.S. team won seven medals, including three golds, and the performance inspired many young wrestlers to take up the sport. Colleges and universities around the country began investing more in their wrestling programs, and interest in the sport grew. Another factor that contributed to the popularity of men's college wrestling in the 1970s was the rise of cable television. The sport was one of the first to be televised on a regular basis, with ESPN and other networks broadcasting matches and tournaments to a national audience. This exposure helped to build the sport's fan base and generate interest among young people. In addition to the increased exposure and interest, Men's college wrestling in the 1970s was characterized by the presence of many talented and charismatic athletes. Some of the most famous wrestlers of the era included Dan Gable, a two-time NCAA champion from Iowa State University who went on to win a gold medal at the 1972 Olympics, and Lee Kemp, a three-time NCAA champion from the University of Wisconsin who won a silver medal at the 1978 World Championships. The popularity of men's college wrestling in the 1970s had a lasting impact on the sport, and many of the programs that were successful during that era remain powerhouses today. Colleges and universities around the country continue to invest in their wrestling programs, and the sport remains a vital and exciting part of the American sports landscape. With its rich history and tradition of excellence, Men's college wrestling is sure to continue to draw fans and produce memorable moments for many years to come.
Thank <laughs> you. 